we're going to look at this example where we have a complement happening outside of a union and we're going to compare that to two separate complements that are happening in this case before the union occurs and what the different results are so i'm going to remove those parentheses they are uh the order of operations does mean you complement before you take the union but i'm going to leave these parentheses off all right so the first one we will need the universal set we'll do a on the left b on the right so we have a union here so what that means is i'm going to shade in the union so here's the union and again i did what's inside the parentheses first now when we deal with the complement that means take everything that is not inside here so what i'm going to do is actually cross it out so you're going to get rid of all of that stuff so what you're left with if i highlight uh, i'll use this light blue to highlight you're left with all of this out here so this is what you're left with all the kind of shell part outside so that's what you get in the first part now the second one is going to be similar it's going to look similar uh, written down but it's going to turn out quite a bit different so we have a on the left b on the right so the first thing we're going to do is complement a then we're going to complement b so it's not in a I'm going to shade everything not in A. Actually, before we do that, let's do something fancy that you can't do on your paper. I really need two. I oh, don't know. All right, it doesn't want to let me copy the paste. I'll just draw a second one, that's fine. Okay. So first one, I'm gonna draw A complement, and the second one, B complement, and then we'll union them together. All right, so A complement is everything that's not inside A. So it's all this. The second one is B complement, so it's everything that's not in B. And we're going to union these two yellows together. And what are we going to get? Well, if you look carefully, we're going to get almost everything. Almost everything is shaded in yellow. What is not shaded in yellow in either one is the inside part right here, what's in common. So if I oops, fill out that actual chart of what the union is, it's almost everything except just not the interior part. So it's basically everything, except that little football wedge in the middle. All right, which is quite different than what we got over here. What we got over here was only the exterior part. It was none of the inside parts in here. So if that made a lot of sense, you could stop here. I'm gonna do the same thing down below except I'm going to look at intersection instead of union. So let's go ahead. I'm not going to label A and B. A is on the left, B is on the right. Uh, let's see if they'll let me copy and paste. Oh, perfect. All right. I'll do one more just in case. All right. So let's go ahead, we're gonna intersect and then complement right here, doing this. When I intersect, I get what's in the middle only. Then, so that's A intersect B, then I'm gonna complement, which is everything else, so don't use what's in the middle, which is throw that away. So it's everything else that's not in the middle, and it turns out uh, so I'll shade in the part that we're interested in. Oh, we're intersecting. Oh, yeah, and then take the complement. Okay. So it's everything out here, except not the red. Now, if you look, 
It's so really similar to, not only is it similar, it's exactly the same as up there. So this means, logically, this is equal to A union B, A complement union B complement. That's not too important to know right now. That's called De Morgan's Law, uh, but it is important to know what it looks like here. All right, so now let's look at the A complement intersect B complement. So first thing, A complement, second thing, B complement. So A complements everything that's not in the left. That's A complement. B complements everything that's not in the right. Okay, and then we're going to intersect them over here. When we intersect them, there's a lot in, actually there's not that much in common. Uh, the only thing that's in common is the exterior. It's a lot of area to color, but it's not, it's only one region. It's a big region. So there we go. That is A intersect B complement. Not a coincidence that it's the same as you saw up here. So logically, this is equivalent to A union B complement. And if you're wondering why is union switch uh, to intersection and vice versa? Well, complement acts like a negation or a negative sign. Uh, and so it negates that symbol right there. So it turns union in, into intersection and vice versa. And then it distributes the complement to each one. All right, hopefully this helped with uh, some order of operations and unions and intersections.